Good day, my farming friends. How the heck are you? Welcome back to Susquehanna River Valley. We are just coming into the farm here. I was down at the dealership, down at Tractor World, talking to Ken Jorgensen. I had to pick up a rake. I had to pick up a rake to do some uh, grass work. One thing I didn't have, so I got this fancy rake down there at Tracker World. I'm looking forward to getting this thing used up pretty good. Here in the white 155, I went down to the apple orchard and picked this tractor up. We do have apples down there ready to sell. But the good news is, my friends, we have completed the sale of our house to that wackadoodle. We have also completed the sale of the farm. So we are just getting, getting things moved in. We got all the machinery picked up from the auction. And it looks good. I'm telling you, third day of spring, 56 degrees outside. Sophie's got her flip-flops on at the uh, the food truck at uh, Min's uh, the spun house. But anyways, so yeah, so we got all the equipment moved over from the auction. I had, we, we actually went way over budget. I had to call my good buddy Adrian from across the pond. He's kind of been an investor in a lot of my farms. I said, buddy, I need 100 grand. He said, okay, I'll wire it to you. So I had, a, we maxed out our loan at 500,000 down to the credit union, and I had to borrow 100,000 from Adrian. So we got all the equipment, basically all the equipment. We had the uh, potato planter I bought at the auction. We had the 75C cat that I bought at the auction, the spreader. We've got the uh, Case uh, Cedar and the John Deere planter there as well. I bought one of the Peterbilts and the uh, Hopper Bottom. I also had to buy a uh, pickup wagon and a bat wing mower. We also picked up the potato harvester, uh, a cultivator, and a plow. So we should be somewhat ready to go. I uh, went down to the dealership yesterday. I picked up the bat wing. I was just starting to do some mowing because here's my kind of thoughts. I was thinking we have all this grass out here that Sophie is just getting a little irritated with. So I was going to get it mowed up, and I got the rake to windrow it. We're going to pick it up here in the Pottinger Jumbo. I found that thing. Ken found that as a, as a, a used item in a local, um, another dealer nearby. So I got that thing picked up pretty good. So I wanted to start putting some grass into the uh, silage bunker. But I got that to do. Plus, I also got fields to get ready to go. Because if you with this property down here, with our fancy dancy property, we uh, have two fields. We have 134 down here, and we have 12 up here. So I think the two main things, here's the problem I'm going to run into. I'm not going to have enough land to get everything up and running, so I need to purchase another field. You know, all these fields around me, they're kind of expensive. 13 here, 61000 bucks, 91 for those two fields. That's not bad. 19 would be a good one. That is... Um, 62 95 120 and i'm maxed out so i really can't afford to buy more land because i was looking at our crop rotation we're gonna we're gonna do with potatoes of course we're gonna be big in the potatoes but i also need to raise some corn because the tmr when i want to get this dairy operation up and running i gotta have corn hay and silage the grass is going to be silage that will go into the silage bunker corn we are gonna grow, so I gotta get that up and running. And then hay is another big thing that I gotta get I gotta get to. So oh boy, and then I'm gonna need straw, so I'm gonna need some uh, small grains of sort. So I'm kind of I'm kind of in a pickle. I I need some more land. We have a, a seed fertilizer here. I gotta take Ooh, what happened there? I gotta I gotta I'll have to fix that thing there. I got a little Got a little lip there. I, ha I had the uh, locals, local bin dealer bring that in here because I got I have a place to source seed. We can start fertilizer over there. I was thinking about taking the hopper bottom and going down to the seed factory and getting a hopper full of seed and then going up to uh, Fox Brother Farms, Fox Farms, and getting a load of uh, urea. So I, I was going to do that too. I might, I might do that first. Go get that underway because if we look at the season's calendar, I was kind of thinking that's potatoes. We are in the we are in the planting window of potatoes right now. We are in the planting window of corn. It's soil temperature a little bit on the cool side, and of course for our small grains we can do that too. I was kind of thinking of maybe doing some rye, spelt, or triticale. I wonder which one uh, the market wise, which one pays pretty good. Let's take a quick gander at that. I was, let's see, wheat seven. Oh, wheat's not bad. Seven 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 oats. You know, oats might be the way to go because if we have horses, I could have oats. Let's just check up the uh, spelt eight. Rye, triticale, ooh, triticale is up there at 900. Maybe oats is the way to go. Do some oats because we got to get some, do some horse, horse boarding. So I would need oats anyways. We can use the yeah. So right now I'm looking at corn, potatoes, and oats right now to get started. So I'm gonna need one more field, and I could I feel like I could check the contracts. Any local contracts here that I could do? 
from this Nitrodad property management. I tell you what, that guy owns the whole damn county. I tell you what, he just really thinks he's a big shot, I'm telling you. A lot of cultivating jobs I could do. I could get the uh, I get the big 79C hooked up to our cultivator. Look at this, 15,000, 11,000. That might allow me to do some field, to buy some fields. I might have to think about that too, but... Oh, let's see. I got lots going on. I got the grass to go into the bunker for silage. Um, that bat wing works pretty good. I like that bat wing. Nice bat wing. In the, in the, uh, the, the challenger pulls that pretty good. So let's hop into the hopper bottom. I'll fire up the Peterbilt. Let's go get a load of seed and a load of fertilizer. So we'll have them ready to go when we start working our fields. I got to get that done too. What was the planting calendar with that? Well, we've got, oh, we still, we still got uh, three days for the potatoes. We still got, uh, oh crap, we got more days. We got almost six days for the corn and then if we did oats we've got uh, three days for there so we're not we're not really pressed for time so let's just kind of get organized we'll hop into the peat here and we'll um we'll take the little jaunt up there to uh, fox farms and the seed factory now the seed factory let's see we probably get the seed let's see fire this puppy up ah it, it fires right up now the seed factory is down here so we got to go, we'll just take this little highway straight down there to the seed factory. We'll get the seed first, and then we'll take the freeway all the way around up here to the north to um, Fox Farms. No, Fox Farms is, Fox, yeah, Fox Farms is up here. What am I talking about? Fox Farms is up there. So that's, we, got, we got a little bit of a trip, but we can handle it. This is a good-looking Peterbilt. 18 speed, 425 cat, you betcha. I'm loving it. It is a good purchase. I brought it down to a Nicholson Farm Shop Machine and Repair. I brought it down there and did some detailing on it. Man, it was, it was pretty beat up. It was pretty beat up with a headache, headache rack in the back. Um, got it all tuned up and ready to go. So I'm kind of excited about that. So it's, it's a good truck. It's a good truck. So yeah, we'll head straight down here to the seed factory. I, I called down ahead. I called the seed factory ahead and I said, hey, buddy, you got any seed? Oh, I took down the 35. Oh, I took down the sign. Oh, my bad. I'll, I'll pulse that in the little man cave later on. But I called down there and said, yep, yeah, we got some seed. So we're ready to go for that. We'll get this thing one hopper filled up with seed. I don't know how much it's going to cost me, but uh, we'll figure that out later. Wait, no, did I already prepay? Maybe I already prepaid for that. Oh, yeah, I already prepaid for that because I brought I brought them. Um, and they cleaned it and they got it ready for seed. Yeah, so I already brought them some some. Um, I'd rather have some corn, I'd rather some oats, and ready to go. Now, the potato seed, I'm going to have to go buy potatoes. I'm going to have to buy some seed potatoes from Spokely's, and we'll get that. Uh, my mirror is a little... Nicholson, you didn't clean my mirror up real good there, buddy. But um, we'll get, we'll get, we'll we'll figure out the, the seed potato. Holy crap, I'm going 70 miles an hour. Put the Jake on there a little bit, yeah. Well, I tell you what, it's a beautiful day. I hope you guys are all having a great day, too, for watching this. I appreciate it. Um, what is it? Tuesday? Tuesday today? Tuesday. Oh, crap. Speedy Gonzalez over there. Tuesday today. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. I'm telling you. Absolutely love it. So, coming to town here. And we'll go right here to the seed factory. We'll get one hopper. I'll probably load up the front hopper with seed. And then we will, um, hit the interstate and get going. This truck is running like a charm. He, he did a good job with it. He did a really good job with it. But I got a lot to do. Yeah, I got lots and lots and lots to do. I got uh, grass work to do. I've got to get field prepped. I got I got to get another field because I want one for corn, one for potatoes, and one for oats. So I'm going to have to get up that fall figured out and go from there. And old Ben and building here. I wish somebody, you know that Nitro Daddy, property management, he owns all this crap, but there's, you know, a lot, a lot of it's um, run down. He really should consider... Um, working on his properties but i think he, i think he's just all about the money he's all about the benjamins baby so we'll pull into here sheffield's sheffield seed and they should have a uh, hopper for us ready to go we'll pull in there uh, automatic tarps you gotta love the automatic tarps gotta love the automatic tarps let's see hold his shoes we want here we want some seed Plenty of seed. So we'll put that into our seed bin. So that should uh, be good for planting. Oh man, we'll probably have a little extra seed. Maybe if we have a little extra, we could probably sell that and make a, make a little bit. And uh, kind of go from there in the back hopper. I'll put urea in. I have to wash out the uh, the trailer, but that's okay. Yeah, that fertilizer stuff in there, oh, man, that, that gets bad. Yeah, you don't want to leave that fertilizer in a hopper bottom. It'll start to gunk up on you and it'll, oh, yeah, just all kinds of problems. 
But let's take the freeway. Let's head north to uh, Fox Farms and get ourselves some fertilizer. A little foggy today outside here in upstate New York. I tell you what, in the valley. Yeah, we had a little rain earlier, but it's kind of calmed down now. It's quit raining going past uh, Tracker World there. But it is a little, it's a little foggy out. I tell you what, traffic. They need to speed up a little bit here. I'm just, I, well, this this Peterbilt just thing thing just cruises 74 miles an hour. I am going a little too fast. I wanted, I don't want to get a damn ticket. You know, it's probably all those tickets is why I lost that uh, Whack Noodle No Sense Challenge. I got a ticket every time I drove through freaking town. It just dried me up a wall. But Fox Fox Farms, they're up here in the upper corner. They they know we're coming. We'll get a we'll get a hopper full of urea, and that should be pretty good. I don't know, uh, thirty thousand uh, liters. Yeah, we we should we should be pretty good with with that. That should get us at least our fields done. And then if we have a little um, contract work too, mm -hmm. I might have to make another load up and get some lime. I'm thinking about having a uh, lime silo put in and just buy some lime and haul it into the farm. That'd be easier than making the trek up here all the time. But I haven't, you know, 19, <laughs> I don't know how I ended up with 19999 bucks in the bank. <laughs> but uh, I got to be weary on the money and I don't know, um, fertilizer is going to cost me a, a, a big chunk of change here. So I'm a little worried about that. Let's see, we'll get off the freeway here, I think. Head in the back way towards... Uh, Oh, did I get off too early? Oh, I think I got off too early. Where am I? My GPS. Oh, no, I'm right here. Oh, I got to go up. Oh, no, I got to go this way. I got to be careful. Yeah, I did this last time. I got off the free. I got off the freeway, and then I got back on, but there's no, um, there's no um, exit ramp up there, so you got to come down here and take the frontage road. There we go. I'm learning. I'm learning the area. It'll be, uh, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be something to get used to, but I'll, I'll get there. Take the frontage road here. We got to go past... Um, uh, uh, well, the gas station here, but this place here, they, they own the BGA. Um, can't remember their name off the top of my head here. I haven't met them yet. Um, yeah, Bauer, 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 Bauer and Sons. Yep. So let's see. Uh, Fox Farms is right here. We'll pull into here. Man, is it, fo is it foggy, isn't it? A little bit of a haze in the air, wildfires or something. We'll pull around the back, we'll come through the uh, inside, and we'll get this um, hopper filled up with uh, with fertilizer in the back there. We should be ready to go for a little while. This should last quite a bit. We'll put fertilizer in there. This is gonna cost us a pretty penny. Holy crap, look at that money go down. Holy buckets, I'm broke. $20,000 for 15,655 liters? No wonder these guys are big bucks. Holy crap, um, that sucks. Oh boy. Well, okay. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Boy, fertilizer is expensive. Is it a coronavirus shortage on fertilizer? What the hell's going on here? Holy crap, that was expensive. Well, we'll get this back to the farm. I'll unload it. I better, I gotta go do some contract work. I have no money. I have absolutely no money. I'm, I'm, the, the checkbook is overdrawn, and I, I, I maxed out my loan. I am maxed out $525,000. Holy buckets. Um, I didn't plan that real well, did I? No, I didn't. Um, well, I'll go this way, get back on the freeway. Oh man, I'll see you back at the farm. I'm, I'm gonna cry here a little bit. Sophie is gonna be pissed. She is gonna be pissed. Well, I cried the whole way back to the farm. I tell you, oh, I wasn't planning on that one. I, I didn't think, I didn't even get a full hopper, too. $20,000. And I didn't even get a full hopper, but I called the nitro dad, the whack noodle, the uh, land baron, and I said, hey, do any farmers need some work done around me? So I found a couple of jobs. So I'm going to have to hook up the uh, the cultivator up to the uh, K75C, and then we'll get that hooked up, and I'll have to go do a couple of cultivating jobs real quick. I think I've got a full tank of fuel in the uh, cat. Hopefully that's the case so I can... Uh, Let's see, we'll go up to the next one here. I gotta make a wide turn 
in my yard. I should, uh, oh, there's my sign. I gotta pick that up a little bit later. And we'll get this, um, these two hoppers dropped off. Man, I was hoping to get more done today. I wasn't expecting to do some contract work, but I'm gonna have to do a bunch of contract work for local farmers in order to um, have some money in the bank and then also to um, pay for my, uh, my land acquisitions. Let's see, this should be the seed. So we'll unload the seed. Look at that, electric slides on the uh, upper bottom. Yep. We'll unload the seed into the seed bin and then we'll go up here to the front one. I gotta fix this up here a little bit. I thought that kinda, I, I'm gonna call them back and say, hey guys, you, you kinda screwed up my, um, my silo a little bit. But we can get that figured out. So we'll go to the next, um, next hopper and we'll dump the uh, fertilizer off in here. I still have to get some, I still gotta get some lime too to pay for. Oh crap. I never thought about that. Um, you know, the first year of this farm is basically going to be uh, get things ready for the second year, I have to say. Um, let's see, hopefully this will unload in here. I think I have the right hopper selected. Well, let's see, I, sele I select the hopper. Um, you. Come on. Back hopper. Unload. Unload the fertilizer. You know you want to. Am I on the wrong side? Maybe I'm on the wrong side. That's probably what it is. On the wrong side. I've seen me do this, so I know it works. I know it works, my friends. That's some terrible backing up there, isn't it? That was some terrible backing up. Well, let me figure out what the heck's going on here. I, I know I've done this. I know I've done this. I've seen me do it. Um, be right back. Okay, we'll get that figured out. Got the, uh, well, we'll hop into the cat here. There you go, let that warm up a little bit. I got, right now I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, cultivating contracts to do. They are all right down here by me, so I don't have very much far to travel. Some of the big ones are up here, but so, you know, I should maybe do, I should look and see if there's a 109, 110, 11, 12. 109, 10, 11, 12. 10, oh yeah. 109, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna do some of these too. 109, what was the other big one? Let's see, 109, 110. 109, 10, 11, and 12. 10, 11, and 12. 10. 111. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing cultivating contracts for the rest of the day. Uh, there is no 112. Ah, that's too bad, okay. We'll start with that, but I got a big cultivator. I got the Alice Chalmers cultivator. That's a pretty good one. I got the cat, it's full of fuel. I should be good. I got negative $37 in the bank. I got a load of lime, or a load of fertilizer that I'm having a little difficulty getting unloaded into my silo, so I'll have to call and get that figured out. But in the meantime, we can go whip, whip out some cultivating contracts real quick and kind of go from there. You know, you know, and that was my plan. That was kind of my plan to begin with. Plus, oh crap, I got apples. I got apples that um, are ready to be sold. So I can, I got, all, every tree is, has created a crate of apples. So I can go and get that done as well, sell those. I think that's about eight, 9,000 bucks a load. So I'm sitting pretty good there. But if I figure out what I need here, thank you very much for saving so conveniently. I appreciate that. I would need, um, man, you know, trying to think, 119. 62,000, 133, which I'm going to go do is 95. So, you know, that's a hundred and, you know, that's 160,000 bucks for those two. 132 would be nice too. I, I got to get some more land, but I wonder, let's see, soil composition. Um, oh, look at that. It's already got us. Some of these already got nice fertilizing states. They don't need to be limed. Isn't that kind of nice? They don't need to be limed. They don't need to be plowed right now. Oh, yeah, look at that. One, oh, 134 is mine. I already own that. 
Um, that's good news. So I could do some work. Hey, that's not a bad plan. I could get. I could. I could, I could maybe. Where am I going? I could maybe scoundrel this uh, nitro dad. I could, I could. I could pull a fast one on him. I could say, hey buddy, I'll come do some work on some fields you own, but then I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn around and buy it from you. But I'm not gonna tell him that yet. Nope. I can do that. It's already seven. Holy crap! It's seven twenty at night. Um. Man, did did time. <laughs> I didn't have it on 15 instead of 5. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, time just flew by there real fast. I'm like, man, it's getting dark out. Holy crap. I didn't realize that I had it on 15. Uh, whoops. Okay. It was supposed to be on 5. Oh, well. I'll just do a little nighttime, <laughs> little nighttime cultivating. Uh, but what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? Uh, put the hazards on there. Let's see. Where should we go first? Let's go... Um, let's see. Where should we go first? This road takes me... Uh, I might as well do the ones down here. 135 is coming right up here. I might as well knock that one out quick. I might as well just go in order and go all the way up. It's kind of, isn't that kind of nice with the contracts flash and my, my GPS and tell you exactly what field I need? That is kind of nice. Yeah, 130, 135 should be right up here on the right. Look at that, because that's my field there. And I got the little pond here. Horses and sheep are over there. And 135 should be right here. Oh, look at that. I can just pull off right off the highway. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, Alice Chalmers, I had this looked over. Nice little uh, cultivator I bought at the auction. It's a good one. Like I say, I got a nice size cultivator here. Boy, the hydraulics are turned up pretty high, aren't they? Weren't they? And then we can, um, yeah, we'll just knock all this stuff out real quick. I guess that's what I'm doing for the remainder of the day is um, doing some fancy dancy cultivating. But it's a good thing. It's, it's a good thing. I'm not going to complain about it. Oh, missed them a little bit there. But it's, it's money. It's money in the bank. And like I say, I can I got a working speed here in the cats of about uh, 9, 10 miles an hour. Well, a little slower going up the hill here. Oop, I don't need the hazard lights on anymore. But, I mean, it's not that big of a field. Really, it's not that big of a field. And when it comes down to it, I could get Sophie out here. She's working the fo food truck today, so we'll have a little bit of food truck income. i surprised we haven't had any yet there. Uh, I wonder if she closed down earlier, what the deal was. But, nonetheless... Um, my tractor, my cultivator, so this is going to actually work out pretty good. And yeah, we can get all this stuff knocked out and make a little extra money, and hopefully it works. Is that, do I have, I have a contract on that one to the right? Uh, yeah, I do, 131 there too, so I got that one. Okay, that'd be easy to get to, uh, right next to me, and then, hey, hey, you never know. Maybe down the road I can get these fields um, purchased. That wouldn't be so bad. So how much money do I have then in contract work that I am doing? Um, let's go up to the top. How much would that make me? Okay, this is rounded off. 16, 25, 30, 32, 34, 35, 36, 7, 38, 39. So it's going to make me 39,000 bucks. Not as much as I was um, open. 39,000 bucks. That's not enough for a field. But I still have, but then again, you think about it, I still have time to to buy because I have, you know, three days to get my crops in the ground, six days for certain crops. So I still have plenty of time. I, I'm still, I'm not rushed. So I can even do more contract work down the road here too. And hopefully I get some contracts on fields that I'm interested in buying. I'll be all be ready to go when I buy them. So it's a pretty sneaky deal. But plus I got some apples. I got some apples down there. We'll do that. We'll do that tomorrow. The uh, fourth day of spring, we'll do that tomorrow. Apples will sell them. Probably I maybe have uh, two crates per tree tomorrow then, so I can sell double the apples and we'll get them loaded up. Probably, oh man, I don't really have a trailer, do I? Well, if I do a couple contracts, I suppose I could, um, I suppose I could get myself a little utility trailer to put them in and a closed trailer would be nice. They don't go flying around, but something to haul the apples in because they're just, they're just in crates. And I got to take them down to Aldi. And then I heard, this is what I heard, that the uh, stock boys are a little slow in unloading the apples. So you just kind of go across the street and have a burger and a beer and wait for them. So it's almost like an afternoon, morning project, to be honest with you. But holy crap, I didn't realize it's 7.43 already. I had time set at 15. Why didn't somebody say something? Oh, well. It's not like I got a whole lot going on. I, actually, I do got a whole lot going on. I want get grass mowed and raked and put into the bunker and silage being made. So I got a lot going on. And basically, like I said, this first year is going to be getting ready for the second year. 
that's kind of the plan, getting everything ready. And who knows, maybe by the end of the year, we'll have things ready for cows. And I want to do cows first. I want to get a huge cow dairy operation going on. And I'm thinking, you know, a good four or five year plan is kind of what I'm aiming for. I haven't done that. And I know others have talked about it. I know my good friend, uh, the Wacker Little Golf Cart Jockey, has talked about doing that. So cows first. And then I'm thinking horses and sheep, maybe. Get that little horse and sheep barn going down there and get that going. So that's kind of my plan. And then, like I said, a four good four or five year plan and see how much money really have a nice big dairy operation and make it go over the years so it um, you can get a lot of stuff done. But with that said, I guess I guess the rest of mine, I, I suppose if Sophie is done with the food truck, uh, she could come down and do some cultivating for me. and I could go do some mowing and some raking. Um, let me see what she's got going on and uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, Sophie came down. She is charging me $53 there. <laughs> so she she got down to the food truck for the day. We're still 100 bucks in the hole, but we'll have a contract done here pretty quick. Uh, actually, there, I think there'll be two of them done here pretty quick. So she is down there doing some cultivating. I jumped into the uh, the cat. And look at my grass during the day here. I really screwed up that time thing, didn't I? Um, it's okay. It's okay. We're the third day of spring. This first year, I'm doing six days. I maybe should have done three days in the first year, but I'm doing six days here. And so I, I got plenty of time. I'm not in a rush. We get things done. This is just um, grass that we have alongside of our field next to our farm. I wanted to get this all mowed up and get it raked. And then we can uh, put this into the silage bunker and get uh, silage underway for the TMR silo. And we start mixing some TMR ready for the cows. That is my plan right there at the moment. And I, this is going <laughs> to... Man, I tell you, oh, I really screwed up with that 15. I didn't even pay attention. I was just... Um, oh, that sucks. That sucks. But when we come back next time, I should have... Well, I probably won't have all the cultivating... Oh, crap. The cultivating contracts expire at midnight. Oh, no. I forgot about that, too. Oh, the contracts will expire at midnight. I'm not going to have them done. Man, I really screwed up with that 15-time thing. Well, apparently I'll be doing a lot of cultivating it in the dark here. Apparently, <laughs> I think I'll be doing a lot of cultivating in the dark. The, the grass, uh, I'm not too worried about it. I can pick this stuff up in the morning. Oh, crap. What is the forecast? Is it supposed to rain? Uh, I should probably look at that. No, there's no rain. Look at that. No rain until Saturday. So I don't got to worry about the grass sitting here. That's okay. I can pick this up in the morning. But I, Sophie's going to do some cultivating. I'm going to do some cultivating. Like I said, we, she's got two done. So she's working on the third one now. And it's not going to take that long. But, man, I really, I really messed that up with this time thing, didn't I? You know, I suppose I could. You know, in all fairness, it really wasn't my fault. I mean, I didn't try to. I didn't intend to have time. I, I could set time back a little bit, but I don't know. We'll go from there. But anyways, uh, number two here, we got the farm set up. We got everything moved in. We got the auction taken care of. We are up and running. It's going to be a slow little process here until we get all our fields done and kind of go from there. But the good news is we have some potential. We're doing some contract work. That'll make some money. Plus, we have apples, and I'm assuming tomorrow, the fourth day when I see you again, we will have um, more apples so we can get ourselves a little trailer and we can haul them apples in and sell them and kind of go from there. But uh, we'll call our good there for today. I, I really screwed up. I apologize. I'm new at this game. I, ju I, ju I just started playing it, so bear with me. I kind of suck at it right now. I'm a terrible farmer, and I don't know how to work time, apparently. But we'll get this all figured out. We spent the fortune on fertilizer. We got seed. So we're ready to go in that department. We're doing some contract work. Kind of keep this an eye on this because those might be fields that we are interested in down down the road, and that might work out to our benefit. We'll, we'll try we'll try to pull a fast one on that uh, Nitro Dad wagon. But anyways, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. you guys. All stay safe and healthy, and keep them between the ditches. So long. <laughs>